Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Pastor Johnny here. Today we are in Matthew 24, verses 29 through 31. And I think I have to set the stage for these verses. Here in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus is talking about the end of days, the end, the end of days, signs and events that take place in the future. Jesus states that there will be false messiahs, wars and rumors of wars, nations rising up against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. There will be famine and earthquakes, persecution and hatred. Love will grow cold. Many will turn away from the faith, betraying other believers and even hating them. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. This all makes me think about the differing opinions I've heard over the years about the end times and especially the rapture. When will Jesus return and take Christians home to heaven? I recall as a young believer being asked questions such as, are you pre-tribulation? Are you mid-tribulation or post-tribulation? When do you think the rapture will happen? Well, my favorite description of when the rapture will take place comes from Pastor Pete here at Calvary. Pete stated that he was pan-tribulation, meaning it will all pan out in the end. Whatever you may believe, Jesus says the following in Matthew 24, verses 29 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. He will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Several prophetic passages describe this cosmic disturbances that will precede and surround the return of Jesus. Joel chapter 10, Revelation 6, 12 through 14, and Isaiah 34, 4. Here in Matthew, the return of Jesus will be seen in the clouds and his angels will, with great power and with great glory. Jesus will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now, you know as well as I do that the world is a mess today. But the simple truth is, the world has always been a mess. There's division, discord, anger. People are taking opposing sides. But rest assured, Jesus is not coming back to take sides. He's coming back to take over. And I don't know about you, but I want to be on his side. Thoughts about the end times or the rapture caused me to reflect on one of my favorite verses found in the Bible, Matthew 6, 34. It says this, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. To that I say amen. With this verse in mind, Let's focus on the life change that God is doing in our lives today. Focus also on your family. Focus also on what God is doing here at Calvary and trust, trust that he has your tomorrows firmly in the grip of his hand. Have a Jesus blessed day. Love you, Calvary.